Hey, this is B. It's KC. Welcome back to the Griffin High event and Family Gather Quest for Stuff. It's Cool Kid Peter. This particular costume skin for Peter Griffin was available in the first week. Of course, I am in the second week and I just wanted to show this to you because it's fun. It's super fun. Aren't fidget spinners fun? But in this second week, there are two characters to go for. The first one is the Jock Joe outfit. And the second, which is just slightly above, is McLovin from Superbad. But that is a time character. I'm not going to look at that just yet, although I will in the video. Jock Joe is the first thing. So let me show you where I'm at. And I'm doing really, really good. I just have to get four more of the trophies. Yeah, we have to get by clearing the locker room bullies. So let's do that, shall we? Oh, there's his Toshi. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be allowed now. And lo and behold, I only have one left. Yeah, okay. Lot more of the dodgeballs. Let's waste no more time. It also clears something. I think it's dodgeballers, but that doesn't pop up just yet. Yeah, touchdown. Go team. Go local sports team. I'm more of a bench warmer. Jock Joe. Whoa, awesome jacket, Joe. But why does this say Carl? I got a great deal on it because it was purchased but unused by the car crash kid in my grade. It feels good to get back to my old jock lifestyle. I'm really excited to join the football team. What? How are you going to play football? Oh, I'm not going to play. I'm just going to be on the team. Just like Jason Street from Friday Night Lights. Me and him have a lot in common. We're handsome, we're handicapped, and our romantic partners sleep with their best friends because they can't handle the stress of being with a cripple. Football! Have Jock Joe score touchdown, Jerome play ball. What's that supposed to mean? But we've got score touchdown, which is animated, watch sports, hit on cheerleaders, play dodgeball, Lead gym class, tackle a challenge, which is also animated, work out, and iron letterman's jacket. Now this one here, play dodgeball, it will pop up temporarily for the update, probably once I finish this. Putting down McLovin, and then the timer starting, and all that sort of awesome stuff, so I think we're going to do that right now. Wait, am I going to do that right now? No, I'm not going to do that. Yes, I am. I don't know. Yes, let's do it. Nice! That's so awesome. Quagmire, I need you to be a teacher at Griffin High to help get the parent off my case. Okay, but just as long as I can be one of the cool teachers. You mean the one that casually sits on the desk and sometimes has class outside? Exactly! There'll be no time before the kids are calling me teach. Yes, 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 okay. I'll look at good old McLovin in just a second, but we got to continue on in the main quest line. This place is a nut house. Hold on. Am I right? Hey, you're McLovin. What are you doing in Quahog? I heard Griffin High needed some cool kids, so here I am. Just so you know, most people saw your movies, so you're going to need a new fake ID. Your cover's blown. Clear one locker room bully, trade in dodgeballs for hall passes at the security desk. All right. I think I can do that, can't I? Let's see, shall we? No, I can't do that yet. In 23 minutes, then I can actually clear another school bully. But in the meantime, what I can do... is trade in for this. There we go. And I could do this one on the left, the one that's five, but I'm going to hold off for just a second. So we got all that done because it's a 21 of the hall passes. That's going to come in handy in just a second. But let me show you McLovin, who probably doesn't have a voice yet. Gangsters! What's up, guys? Hey, not much, man. How you doing? Break yourself, fool! Gangsters! What's up, guys? 
I got a boner. Okay, that's where we're going to stop that one. When it turns to what we got, we got 16 glasses. You get them by clearing the dodgeballers. Are they, are they here yet? They are. Hi, how you doing? And yes, we need Jock Joe. And that's going to be a three-hour quest, so should I do that? Yes. Yes, I'm going to do that. Because we have to do for the main quest line anyway, and as usual, you got to finish your main quest line and move on to the next week, unless it's the final week. Believe to hear you say that. All right, so what is this going to look like? Hitting below the belt. Oh, we can't really see it. We can again. Okay, so they're gonna, they're gonna try to hit each other, but they're so good, they're catching it. So they're gonna do that for three hours, and they're gonna drop a bunch of things like more dodgeballs and the glasses for good old McLovin. Break yourself, fool! And we need 59 alcohol by clearing the locker room bullies. That is a lot. Gangsters! What's up, guys? We've also got to get 20 offer letters from the hamsters. Oh man, that's going to be crazy. There was actually a time thing as well, but I never even really thought about doing it. And maybe I should have actually done it. I got a boner! Let's see. 13 fake IDs from Tay Frazier, which is from the mystery box. Jerome, or the fake ID hut. Gangsters! What's up, guys? And finally, 22 gym shorts, uncommon. Tay Frazier again from the mystery box. Seamus. And then finally, Shower Shorts Store. So this... Break yourself, fool! So this is actually going to be kind of difficult. Now the reason for that... You're going to need to get enough of the, the towels for the locker room bullies, which is craziness. I got a boner! And then you've also got to get these as well. So everything is going to revolve around queuing for this thing. That's crazy. I mean, I've got a lot. I just got to queue up for them, and that's the biggest problem I'm running into. But I guess it really depends on how much it's going to drop. Like, how much alcohol drops from the locker room bully? Is it just one? Or is it multiple? Because if it's just one, that's, that's really crazy. I'm bringing overalls back. Let's just see if we can find one of the bullies quickly. Let's see. It only drops one. So I've got to do this 59 more times? That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, well, I'll see what happens. The final thing to do is to look at this. The trophy case. Shower short store. Now, you may have seen that it was actually for McLovin, I believe. I've got enough, so we're going to place this down. That's the good news out of all this is that I've got everything down ready to go. It's just a cue for that thing, man. And we got a four hour build time for that as well. There's the fake IDs. I don't know if anything else drops anything. I can't really remember. But anyway, that is pretty much it for now. You've seen Jock Joe. This is McLovin. Seven day timer. It's all about that queue time, man. It's going to be really, really difficult. But I'll do the best that I can. And if I can get it, there'll be a video for you. And if I don't, well, depending on how close I get, I may speed it up with clams. But we're going to have to see just how far ahead I get. So keep it locked here for at least episode 3 in the near future. What are we going to get? Well, you can actually figure that out. Just click down below. Click the yearbook. And it looks like that, well not Tay Frazier because they're in the mystery box already. But Dion Davenport and Lois Griffin at least should be available in the third week. And then moving on to the final week which will be a particular costume skin for Chris Griffin. Cameron Fry from Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Zack Sawyer. The big question is which one is going to be premium? If it falls the same pattern as before, Ferris Bueller and Greaser Quagmire were premium, which means Lois Griffin and Zack Sawyer will be the other premium characters. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.